welcome back to Movie Review Mom. And if this is the very first time that you're seeing this channel, yay, you found me. I'm so glad. My goal is to give you the heads up on filmmaking quality and content so that you can make the best decision for you and your family as to whether or not you want to spend time or money or both watching a specific film. So that specific film that I'm reviewing today is called Uncharted. This buddy criminal movie is exclusively in theaters on February 18th, 2022. The movie is rated PG-13 and is an hour and 56 minutes long. I'm gonna give you an overview in a nutshell, then I'll point out things I liked, didn't like, tips for parents, themes worth talking about, and then finish it up with some recommendations for some other movies that I think you'll also really like, if you like this one. All right, so in a nutshell, street smart thief Nathan Drake, played by Tom Holland, is recruited by seasoned treasure hunter Victor Sully Sullivan, played by Mark Wahlberg, to recover a fortune lost by Ferdinand Magellan, 500 years ago. What starts as a heist job for the duo becomes a globe-trotting, white-knuckled race to reach the prize before a ruthless Moncada, played by Antonio Banderas, uh, who believes he and his family are the rightful heirs of this treasure. So if Nate and Sully can decipher the clues and solve one of the oldest mysteries ever, they stand to find $5 billion in gold treasure, and perhaps even Nate's long lost brother, but only if they can learn to work together. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> this fun adventure heist is based on the PlayStation video game, Uncharted. In fact, it's the very first feature film of Sony PlayStation Productions. Now, I've never played the video game before myself, so I'm reviewing this movie as a standalone film. I had no expectations, but I definitely recognize that fans of the video game most definitely will have expectations. So their reactions may be very different from mine. Rumor has it that Uncharted 4, uh, Thief's End, is Tom Holland's favorite game in that video game series. All right, let's talk about the things that I really liked about the movie. First of all, I really love both Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg. So I really got a kick out of seeing the two together. I thought that they had really good chemistry, which made for some very entertaining banter about each other's ages, skills, and motivations. I liked seeing them together. Antonio Banderas actually tested positive for COVID during filming and actually had to leave the production for a short period of time while he recovered. It's always good to see him. I just am a fan. I really like him too. Now, the movie starts off with a great opening scene. Now, we don't get to know everything that happens until later on in the movie, but I really liked starting at where it started off just with a bang. Tom Holland said that it was the hardest action sequence that he's ever filmed. So that's impressive. There are plenty of adventures and clues to figure out on this treasure hunt. So if you love puzzles and riddles and deciphering ciphers, you'll enjoy this high octane quest. There were also a lot of fun action sequences with impressive and creative stunts that sometimes made me laugh a few times. There are some good special effects and very good set designs. And the movie ends with a taste of a sequel, something that I actually would like to see. Mark Wahlberg only signed on for one film uh, in his contract. So hopefully he'll change his mind if this movie does well. Now, there are mixed emotions and mixed reactions with this film. So let me tell you about some of the things I didn't like. Some people are just saying, oh, it was a bore fest. I disagree. These guys were working pretty hard and keeping busy and the movie was constantly moving. The villains, however, are definitely underdeveloped but they serve their purpose for sure. The movie itself is very predictable, following all of the cliched tropes of this genre. But I like this genre, and so I don't mind seeing some of that kind of stuff. The trailers have gotten very mixed reviews, just like the film itself got mixed reviews, which is a testament to how powerful a trailer can be to build expectations or lower expectations as well. So video game movie adaptations are always a bit problematic 
simply because of the fans' expectations and because of the common lack of truly understanding the, the source material by the studios. It's the biggest frustration by far. So I've heard some gamers already explain that the story in the movie is a letdown from those who really love the game. Again, I've never played the game or even seen the game, so I had nothing to base the, the story or the plot on. The set designs sometimes really look like set designs. Now I mentioned earlier, how some of them were really good, but some of them also look like they're set designs, you know, like it could be turned into a ride at Universal Studios, that kind of a thing. Let me give you some tips for parents. First of all, there is some profanity. There are subtitles when Spanish is spoken. There are several murders. You see some of them like right in front of you and then others, you know that it's happening. You just don't have to watch it happen. Uh, this might spark some interest in the history of Magellan for your kids. There's lots of violence and people in perilous situations. So some themes that are illustrated well are greed, definitely, trust, friendship, and brotherhood, alliances, betrayal, history, and treasure. And ultimately, what is the most valuable treasure? Well, that's one of the questions. So I actually got a kick out of this movie. I think that there is fun to be had. I think you probably also have to be in the right mood. Uh, just again, throw your expectations out the window, grab a tub of popcorn and just be prepared to have fun without really overthinking it. And again, you're not gonna be too surprised uh, by the direction that the plot goes because we've seen exactly this plot before. All right, so let me give you some recommendations for a couple of movies that I thought of. The first is obviously Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark. And this movie definitely has a vibe, an Indiana Jones vibe to it. And, you know, Indiana Jones is such a classic. Everybody loves Indiana Jones. So uh, if you like Indiana Jones, I think you might like this one. And then another movie that I thought of was National Treasure with Nicolas Cage. And the reason I thought of that movie was because there are lots of clues and riddles and running around and being chased by bad guys and that kind of thing. Also in the search of a big mound of golden treasure. I loved that movie as well. All right, that's it for my review. I hope if you watch this movie that you do have fun. And thank you so much for watching my reviews, especially for those of you who stick to the very end. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't already, why not do it now? <laughs> and while you're at it, click on that little ring notification and it'll notify you every time I upload a new movie review or trailer reaction. We've got some really great trailers that have been coming out. So I'm hoping to do some of those soon. Thank you again for all of your support. I really do appreciate it. Have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.